He did not seem comfortable, bro. Mm-hmm. He's he's not playing off Roman. His right. brother isn't there. There's no solo. There there's no Heyman. There's no five people in the ring. Yeah, it was just him. And man, bro, and and again, man, maybe this will change over time. But he really came across as nervous and uncomfortable. Let's talk about Jay Uso coming to Raw. He, out of this three-year bloodline story, it all started with him and Roman Reigns. Three years later, it's like, eh, Roman Reigns is kind of here and there, and Jay Uso's on Raw. So this is a Bro, really odd remember, transition. We're, we're, but Chris, we're in the top of the third. We're we're only in the top of the you know, third. Here's, yeah, bloodline. so I guess there's more. I guess I guess yeah. this here, yeah. this top of the third, Jay going to Raw is a part of the master plan because we're yes. not even technically – we're not even halfway there. We're, right, we're, we're exactly. a third of the way there. So yeah. this is the, so so that means technically, if yes. I, if my math is mathing correctly, we have six more years of this storyline, right? Yeah, yeah. Because if it's if it's you know there's nine innings, right? right. Yep. If we're yep. at the top of the third, yep. It, that means that we're a third of the way there, and it's been yes. three years. Yes. So mathematically, we've got six more years left in the storyline. Yes. Yes, wow. bro. I got to tell you, I'm I, and I'm being honest with you here. And I wrote for a very, very, very long time. If you let things, these things go organically without forcing them, sure. bro. I really believe you could follow the bouncing ball forever hmm. because it's it's like our lives, Chris. Mm-hmm. It's just like our lives. The life of Doctor Chris. Every day goes on and on and on and on and things change and different people are involved and people come and go and there are peaks and there are valleys and there are trials and there are tribulations and it goes on. And that's why I believe, bro, if if you have strong characters and organically just let it go, bro, it will go on forever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the problem is the the keyword that you said organic. So yes, that's, that's right. the issue. So absolutely. So with his transition over to Raw, I mean, where where do we go from here in the eyes of Vince Russo, man? Well, I think it all depends on one thing, bro. Is um so is Cody is Cody the guy they're trading? That's the rumor, uh, because they do want to set him up for Roman. So see, I'll, because I'll tell you, bro, if if they weren't trading Cody, I think the only thing I would be interested in would be Cody and Jey Uso. Hmm. I, okay. I, I'd be interested in that. And, bro, you could make that part of the Roman Reigns storyline hmm. if you knew how to craft it and you knew how to get to where you wanted to go. Hmm. But if you if you tell me. Cody Rhodes is going to get in a feud with Jey Uso. I like that. Mm-hmm. But if 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 he gets traded over, Cody, again, bro, th- this is what you and I always do. We we look at that raw roster. Yeah. And we're like, bro, nobody's over. Like, mm-hmm. so what 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 are we going to do here? You know? Yeah. So so to me, bro, it would really depend on whether or not Cody went over. Now it's interesting that you say that. So, so with that being said, where does Jay Uso go if if Cody were to stay? Because they're making him a, a top, you know, babyface now in a sense. Where does that? How does that fit in with Cody staying if he does stay? Well, see, bro, what I'm what I'm doing is, see, bro, a lot of a lot of stuff that I throw out there, they're intricate storylines, and they take weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks Mm -hmm. if i'm writing the storyline between jay uso and cody rhodes jay is still connected to roman okay but we don't know that and what i'm doing bro is i'm trying to paint jay uso as a baby face and maybe certain things and certain uh, situations and circumstances happen where it may look like Cody Rhodes is the is the heel. Hmm. And that is the picture that Jay Uso is painting. But, bro, when I throw stuff like that out, bro, that's intricate character work. 
that you you can't write that on Monday morning, bro. You sure. you need to start writing that on Tuesday morning, mm -hmm. and you need to develop it all week long. Mm -hmm. But that's that's what I'm doing, and to me, that's that's the big swerve that Jay Jay went over to to Raw to kind of suck Cody Rhodes in this trap for Roman Reigns. But again, Chris. It, it that's intricate writing that you got to really think through interesting i mean that would be kind of bottom of the third type of stuff you know what i mean absolutely that, yeah, absolutely yeah, to, to, to be to be honest yes um now i think what they're still trying to do is break away jay to be you know to to be a, a man or, or a character by himself if if he does come in as kind of like a spy or a mole or something like that um how does it eventually break away Jay from Roman if they're trying to do that? Bro, again, man, are are you are you going to break Jay away from Roman if Jay's not going to be as over as he would be if he was with Roman? Bro, the reality of the situation is the guy's been there a long time. I mean, Jay Uso has been with the WWE a long time. I, I how bro over a decade? It, it's got to be right. Yeah, uh, two thousand twelve, I would believe. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's got to be over a decade. The guy never, ever, ever had a singles run. Well, bro, that's probably because mm -hmm. they didn't think he was strong enough. 2010 is when he uh okay 10 debut. that probably means they didn't think he was strong enough to ever have a singles run and you know what bro they had him right there not that i'm saying they should have but if he would have defeated roman reigns now now we're talking a different story hmm. but hmm. the fact of the matter is he got all the way there and then he lost to Roman Reigns. So yeah. are you really going to get him over, bro? Is this super solo baby face? I've had a conversation. It's interesting that you say that, Vince, because I had a conversation about that. And I just don't I don't see Jay. And I, I'm open to it. I'm, I'm open to see what happens on Raw. Um, I, I like J Jay being by himself but the problem is what i see with this is one is a very anticlimactical ending to the bloodline story this is what you get out of three years is, is what we see now just it's just a very odd ending and then for two i i just i, I i'm not sold on main event jay uso apart from the bloodline rub you know what i mean like i i just that's I, I I'm not as sold on that, and so like it, it. Look, hey, look. If you if you make it work, I'm open to it. You know, I mean, they need more main event, you know, characters. But at the same time, Jay Uso without that Roman Reigns rub just doesn't really feel main event to me. Bro, I felt that last week, uh, Chris, during during that opening promo. Mm -hmm. He did not seem comfortable, bro. Mm -hmm. He's he's not playing off Roman. His right. brother isn't there. There's no solo. There, there's no Heyman. There's no five people in the ring. Yeah. It was just him and man, bro. And and again, man, maybe this will change over time, but he really came across as nervous and uncomfortable. To me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, you know, to your point, I, I'm willing to see if it changed. You know, if, you know, if, if it gets more comfortable, you know, pour more power to him. I think that's good. But, you know, it, it, this, if, if Drew turns heel and do I care about Jay Drew? Do I, you know, uh, yeah. do I care? You know what I mean? Do I care about Jay Bronson Reed? Do I care about Jay Shinsuke? You know what I mean? Like, I'm with you. No, I don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, I don't, I don't really care about that. I mean, because the only thing is going to be is, you know, I, I would care if the story was right. I would care about any feud if the story was right. But if you're just doing matches for matches sake, let's go ahead and throw a few together just to have a match or two or three. It's just the same cycle. Yeah, I, know, agree. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Chris. Yep. Yeah.